Hey, it's Joel, and I'm coming to you from 3D Printopia in spring break capital of the world, Bel Air, Maryland. And what do you see around us? Nerds. Everybody nerding out about 3D printing. And we had an idea. What if I gave nerds 60 seconds to talk about whatever they wanted? Well, that's what we're going to do thanks to LDO. And, well, I wish you the best of luck. Jason from LDO Motors. I have 60 seconds. Are you ready, Jason? Yes. Go. Yet, yeah, LDO Motors uh, is a professional manufacturer for different motors and 3D printed parts. We have been there like more than 20 years, and uh, Boron is our major production. We already work with them a few years, and we shipped about 12,000 Boron kits so far. We also worked hard for the Positron, and we a bunch of good Positron guys here, about eight Positron kits here for sure. Yes. 30 and, seconds, Jason. Yes, and uh, we work really hard for the Positron and make it more reliable, more portable, and easy to build up. And we also have some new production this 15 year. 15 seconds. Yes, uh, this is a very small Core XY economic machine called the Luca MK1. And LDL also put our, our brand Four, filament three, this year. Yes, that's all about LDO. Jason, Thank that's you. time. Good. Yes. <laughs> I'm Nomad from Positron, and I got 60 seconds. Nomad, are you ready? Yeah. Go. All right, so we got the Positron booth here, of course, uh, but we got some really awesome prints. But not only are we showing off how the high flow rate of the Positron can do, since we got volcano-like speeds with our insane hot end here, but we're also showing off how accurate the printer is with tiny benchies. These are 5% benchies done at, uh, you know, with a 0.2 millimeter nozzle. Focus. Yeah, uh, the, not these are so 30 tiny. 30 seconds, Nomad. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, we got 17 Positrons here, not at the booth, but around the entire event because everyone's been able to bring these. All the one, every one of these Positrons is owned by someone that has brought them here because it's so easy to do. And we got a pit crew repairing a bunch of other stuff. Also, the best episode of Doctor Who is Peter Capaldi's Heaven Sent. Hands down, full stop. You got five seconds, then. keep going. Uh, hi, Mom. Hi, hello, everybody. <laughs> Positron's Go awesome. My name is uh, Daryl, off our 3D, and I have 60 seconds. Are you ready, Daryl? I'm ready. Go. All right, I am a 3D printed prop maker. I have a lot of amazing helmets and prop weapons, scorpion masks, busts. Whatever you want, we make it here. We have uh, rubber halo armor that is flexible, that you can't destroy. You can throw it at the wall if you want to. It's kind of like the kitchen sink, just throw it out. I do a lot of uh, intricate paints, weathering, a lot of 3D printing. This is also a cast of a mold. 30 seconds, Daryl. Oh no, we're running out of time. You're good, you got this, Daryl. We'll put that there, because I can't do it. Uh, this has been the star of the show today. This is Melania's helmet from Elden Ring. Everybody seems to love the gold paint job. I do too. Uh, yeah. 15. It doesn't fit. <laughs> it, it, not me. My head's too big. <laughs> Somebody else might be able to wear this, but I can't. And Helldiver's helmet. This is great because Arrowhead Game Studios commissioned one, and they love it. And that's time. <laughs> Hi, my name is Nathan, and I have 60 seconds. Are you ready, Nathan? Yes. Go. <laughs> so we've got our giant That's printer strong. here. We got our giant printer here. It's got four print heads, all high flow print heads, so we can go really fast. And uh, oh my gosh, I actually broke it. Oh that that was that was too much damage. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is a four kilogram print. We're gonna make another one, so we'll have a replacement for this. Don't worry. And uh, yeah, so four print heads, rotating bed. There's a lot going on here. It's all set up in Clipper, so, 30 seconds. you know, 30 seconds left. Okay, um, yeah, I mean, I just kind of watch this thing work. I get tired of waiting for prints to print, so I just want things to go faster. And then, you know, when you only have one print head, you can only go so fast. So you add four of them, and it can go four times 15. as fast. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to try and replace this beloved artifact that I just destroyed. Ah, it's still pretty strong. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that is all. Thank you all for watching, Three, and back two, to Joel. One. Wait, wait, hold it, hold it, hold it. Uh, let's break it, let's break it. Wait, 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 there, okay, one, two, three. three. 
residual yeah. strength is still pretty good. <laughs> Hello, I am 3D printing doctor and my name is Duan and I have 60 seconds. Are you ready Duan? Yes, I am ready. All right, go. So here we have various models from various talented designers. This one over here, 3D printed in like three, four days at Purusha XL. It was a really nice uh, print. And over here we have a giant Mewtwo that is 3D printed in 13 days with all 3D printers like CR10 and those kind of stuff. And over here we have a really nice Tiger from Metmire Makes. This is 3D printed in four days uh, and uh, the Bamboo Lab A1 I used on it. And seconds. here we have a very nice Zao 3D ghost model. This is our favorite. And here, my baby model, like the shark from STL Felix. This took four days to make. How many views? Uh, uh, this is like more than 40 million views. So it's like freaking amazing stuff. And these are all display models to get Ten attention. And, and, and yeah, the last thing I think I want to show is this giant uh, Stanley Cup from Mystic Mage 3D. And and yeah, that's time. Yeah. So. Yeah, good ending, dude. Good ending. Exactly. I love it. Cool. Thank you. Hi, my name is K2 Kevin, and I have 60 seconds. Are you ready, Kevin? I am ready. Go. Again, K2 Kevin. This year, we have done the Maker Chip. So I am running a Maker Chip table at 3D Printopia, and it doesn't have to be good to be a classic, but we do have quite a few very good and classic Maker Chips. It was so popular this year, I was able to get even Joe Telling and David to make their own maker chips. <laughs> and I have a lot of time left. So you let's know, talk. Come on, talk about something you love. I've been doing design, 3D printing and design for about three years, although graphic arts I've been doing for probably over 20 years. I am old, again. It doesn't have to be good to be a classic, and I am pretty much classic. Now, I, I on, did Kevin. figure out that vintage was like 50 years, so I'm probably there as well. And then antique is 100, so we hope to all be antiques one day. And keep going. Come on, come on, sign off, sign off. You're the greatest. Just there, ask there you. There we go. <laughs> hey, how you doing? My name is Dan, Danny or Daniel. I draw cars. I have 60 seconds. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Go. Hey, how are you guys doing? My name is Danny, Neil Coy Prince over on Thangs, YouTube, TikTok, wherever you can find me. I draw these cars and then I use Hue Forge to 3D print them. Hue Forge is great for these 2D images and bringing them to life in ways that we haven't seen before. We have a lot of different ways like TPU. These are great for certain things like cosplay and other materials uh, like PETG, ABS. So the big thing, I've started working on organic modeling as well and incorporating these models seconds. into Hue Forges like these, these hybrid Hue Forges. Um, you can find me on TikTok, YouTube. I'm doing tutorials now on YouTube to show people how easy it is to do Hue Forge for all the beginners out there, trying to bridge the gap between experts and beginners. Um, what else do I have? I'm also on Polymaker as an ambassador. I do talks every Friday night at 7 p.m. CST to teach people how to use Hue Forge. Um, if you want to come out and ask questions, you're more than welcome. Thank you. That's time, dude. You wrapped that up with a bow, dude. Heck yeah, dude. Hi, I'm Sven, also known as Hot Spring, and Joel said I can have 60 seconds. Are you ready? Yeah! Go. All right, they said I could talk about anything I wanted. Well, 3D printing, it's been years, but it still just seems like magic. So, you know, things like this, they just wouldn't exist if we didn't have these amazing machines that just produce things out of thin air and spools of plastic. But things like, can we make something that, that uses elastic bands for latches and, and springs and things like that? These sorts of things, you know, th th this, sort of, ah, this sort of exploration that we can do, we couldn't do before we had this sort of uh, infrastructure. Um, and every day, every month, every year, there's, there's new stuff that just opens up new possibilities. Like suddenly we can have squishy things. And it's like, what can I do with squishy things now? <laughs> Anyway, it's just this stuff like every day I find inspiring and it's it's just too exciting and One thank time. you guys. <laughs>
Hey, I'm Dylan from Saturday Morning Props, and I have 60 seconds. Are you ready, Dylan? I am. Go. I want you guys to get into 3D printing. There's no more excuses. The printers work right out of the box. With things like this, or any of them, they work super well. With slicers with default settings, you're gonna have so much success, it's so easy. With teachers like Joel and Jesse and myself teaching you everything you guys need to know, you guys can make a wonderful prop. You can make everything from your childhood. Printers are being able to do these textured prints and it is super easy to do. You can really hit play with all these amazing colors and you're gonna have the most amazing time getting into 3D printing. I really think that it's so awesome. It's gonna get even better as we go and you're gonna see some amazing projects. You know what's amazing is that Iron Man suit. <laughs> Thank you, so the suit, it's wonderful. I worked really hard on this thing. It took me about four months to make and yeah, Seconds. it's been a dream come true. You got 12, come on, keep going. Oh, sorry, yeah. So, yeah, following teachers like Joel, Frankly Bill, Uncle Jesse, all of you guys. We have you guys covered. Come join us in the hobby. Dude, and, 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 and the overhead camera bones him, but he did a great <laughs> job. Good job, Dylan. I'm Josh Taylor from Recreator 3D and Recycle3D.xyz, and I got 60 seconds. Are you ready, Josh? I am. Go. Let's go. Again, we're doing uh, pet poltrusion, and we're turning our PET-1 bottles into viable 3D printing filament. Uh, amongst that, we want to reduce all our waste, and unfortunately, we are left with tops and bottoms of those wastes. So our community members made a micro shredder, which chops that down into refined material, and we can take that refined material and go into a unit, an extruder, which is called the ArtMe. We're also able to take bamboo poop and waste, which our industrial coffee grinder loves to eat, and it puts that over here in the art me, and it's given us all this filament that's in gray right here, and that's been produced out of my bamboo waste. So we are now full circle recycling with PET-1 poltrusion and our extrusion efforts. So now RepRap can go back into RepRap. Yeah, dude, great ending on that. Hi, I'm Karen Chow, and I have 60 seconds. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Go. Hi, I, this is my latest collab. It's a TPU duck, and it squeaks. And so I collabed with School Designs, who designed a 3D printable squeaker. And you can print this in PLA and insert it into the model. I also designed some other models. So this is a gummy bear, and this also squeaks. So I brought my backpack, clear backpack, with all my, to show off my designs. And my next collab, my next collab will be with Gerari 3D, working to try to make a design for his Gen 2 uh, decor drawers. So you can follow me on YouTube and Instagram. You can check out Karen Chow Designs. For, and then I have my models on a lot of different platforms. So you can check out my link tree for all the links. <laughs> and keep going, keep going. <laughs> Happy printing. Time. <laughs> wow, wasn't that great? 60 seconds, man. Nerds tell us all sorts of amazing things, and some of them don't even get a chance to make it happen. I had a wonderful time at 3D Printopia, and I really want to give a big thanks out to Jason and LDO for making this all possible. And really, I have one question. If I gave you 60 seconds, do you think you'd be able to nerd out about whatever you wanted? You're going to have your chance in the future. Hey, if you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. 3D print all the things. And as always, I'm tired. High five. See ya.